Welcome back, Zero K fans, to Nanali Zidane. I remain your host, Shadow Fury 333. And this match is going to be between North Chilean G and Snuggle Base on Lonely Oasis. It's a map I have shown off a lot recently because I really do like it, and it's also fairly popular. Starting out, North Chilean G going for jump bots because they clearly want to take these two metal extractors right south of their base. And Snuggle Base is going for heavy tanks, which is interesting. I'm going to double check where can they pass? Okay, they're slow on the ramps. Can't go up the sides of the hills, which the jump bots will have an advantage on. And they cannot easily approach these hills. That's actually pretty huge. Because bots, even without jumping, these hills are totally accept they're accessible. Well, at least they have an extra ramp, essentially, on both sides. For vehicles, we just saw that was not the case. And also, these hills? Apparently also accessible. Whereas for vehicles, this is not a ramp. This is a bot pathable only ramp for... This map, as, are, as is this entire side of the island, or center, not island, plateau. This plateau as well. Like, yeah, so there's going to be a bit of a pathing challenge for North for Snuggle Base. Independent of the fact that North Chilean G also went jump bots, just any bot is going to have that pathing advantage. Which may be an oversight, honestly. I think these ramps were probably meant to be both vehicle and bot pathable. I doubt they're meant to be just bot pathable. If they were, then... Okay, I'm not sure I agree, but at least that would have been the intention. But I think that was not intentional. I'm pretty sure these were intended to be all pathable. And it just turns out that vehicles cannot path there. Which actually, does that mean... Yeah, there's just that one ramp there. Okay, no, Sprung pointing out this is their map, so that is by design. Vehicles are not meant to path along these ramps over here and only have one path to those, these little plateaus. Okay. I guess that makes sense to increase the rush distance to make up for the speed. It's an interesting experiment, but it... I guess, I don't know, it's one of the hard things about 0k map design. Actually, it's also true with Akron map design. Any map design where you have, or any map system, where different types of units have different pathing characteristics that are not like categorically different, like they're just different by degree, so it's, and in this case, literally by degree, like the angle at which a vehicle or an angle which a unit can actually traverse vertically, or the angle of the terrain slope that's that is a difference of degrees and that's really hard to communicate i mean if it's a question of cliff or not that's easy to do like, it's either a cliff or it's a ramp that's really easy to see but if it's cliff or a steeper cliff i mean that's what the pathing path view is for it's just it's hard to tell without the pathing path view and even with the pathing path view it might have been a mistake or it's easy to think it might have been a mistake but yeah, I'm not sure if there is a solution to that. It's just hard to communicate. Anyway, North Chilean G going for the long-range option, getting the moderators out. Well, Snuggle Base is... What are they doing? Building up their economy. They have some Kodachis out for, I guess, scouting. But they aren't really doing much else. They aren't building up any Panthers. They aren't going to raid. I think they're either afraid of or unable to, just given that there's only really one ramp into Snuggle Base's base. Sorry, into North Chilean G's base. Where North Chilean G is able to go in multiple paths through to Snuggle Base's base. So Snuggle Base is going to have to be more defensive. At this point, though, the economies are about even. Snuggle Base way ahead in energy, though. A little behind in... Or actually, a little ahead in metal. No, a little behind in metal. Never mind. North Chilean G has the metal advantage just slightly. But yeah, it is about even. Oh, and yeah, that's... Oh, I guess I can't really show. Yeah, I can actually. That pathing? Okay, I guess there must have been a problem here. Weird, I don't see it, but whatever. <sighs> yeah, this... It can be strange. Gotta be honest. And as you can see, there is a bit of an issue where the Kodachi is trying to get out. But the monitors are proving to be the good option here. Like I said, it's just you have the range. That's at the point. Puppies are also a good option, and they were being used before, but against Kodachis, not great. Against, I guess a mass of them against Panthers would be a good idea. Those aren't going to happen, though. And, oh man, Banishers against Moderators. The Moderators, I think, win this. What the? I'm holding space. Oh, shoot, that... That widget just crashed, didn't it? Yes, it did. I don't know what... What the heck? Oh, okay. Wow, alright, sorry, one sec. Everything is just exploding. Why is everything exploding? 
Why is my UI falling apart? What the hell? Just trying to context many moderators. Why is that so hard? Nope, apparently I can't do that. Why is... What? Okay, that's really weird. I don't know why that's happening. Yeah, I'll get the info log. That's all the data there is. I don't know what else there is other than just the context menu basically breaks when moderators, for some reason, due to interpolation? I don't know. It's a really bizarre bug. What does context menu even set to the camera? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. The, back to the game. So, North Chilean G being quite forward here. Economy's still pretty even. Snuggle Base way ahead in energy, though, and North Chilean G is going to start suffering that. If they haven't already started suffering that. Though, at the same time, Snuggle Base does have... Well, they're set up, but not much in the way of defenses. But the moderators are the problem. Like, how is it supposed to get through the moderators? That's the question. That's the tricky part. Now, the thing is, the best option is probably going to be trying to tank through it. At least that's an option. I don't know if it's the best option, all things considered. The problem with that, of course, being that the speed advantage goes away. And if the speed advantage goes away, then what else do you have? I don't really know what you do offhand. I, the only thing I can think of would maybe be Tremor. Because, I mean, artillery does pretty well beat skirmishers. Bit of an extreme case, but could work. I mean, moderators are slow enough. And the Reaper trying. Reaper succeeding, kind of, but it's getting slowed down to the point that it's hard to really think it's going to succeed. Moderators can just kite it, no problem. So yeah, that's the problem, really. These moderators are being a pain. I wonder, are we going to see Tremor or Pillager? Are we going to see any artillery to deal with these moderators? The Reapers are starting to do okay, but that's just because the moderators are being careless. They're moving too far forward, and as a result, they are getting hit. But they don't have to. They could totally avoid damage. They just need to be kiting. Like, really, it's... Yeah, you can see the... No, oh, actually, I can show... I can show it! I can show it! I can show it visually! Yeah, like I see, you can see here, the moderator fire rate... Or fire range is longer than the Reaper fire range. So it's really quite, quite trivial for the moderators to get through and deal the damage. Anyway, this is really working out for North Chilean G. I mean, they have they have a good, well, army advantage. They have, they're starting to get a territory advantage. These moderators are being a pain in the butt to deal with. Snuggle Base at this point is going for a pillager, though. They do have one on deck. That will be built up as soon as this Reaper is done, which who knows when that will be done. The game certainly doesn't. There's not enough resources apparently in Snuggle Base's whole economy to actually build both. Just, hell, I don't know what's going on. Oh, that's what's going on. Repair. It's taking all the energy. That's why. Same time, North Julian G just building up kind of slowly. Really not sure where they're trying to build up, honestly. They're building around, kind of. They don't really have these metal extractors at all. And the Reapers coming in. This is a lot of Reapers. This is a almost Strider level of Reapers, honestly. Moderators should be enough to deal with it, but that's getting kind of scary. And with the Pillager on deck, I mean, it's just about to get going. When that gets in here, those Moderators are going to have a really hard time. There's no backup either. There's no Puppies, there's no Pyros. There's, I mean, there are some Puppies. But only nine of them, and with Reaper support... I mean, the Reaper actually isn't great against Puppies, but even then, it's going to be hard. I still think a Tremor would have been a better idea, but I think Tremors are about 2,000 or 1,500 or so. 1,500. So they are double the cost of a Pillager. Wait, the Pillager's done, right? Yeah, the Pillager's done. There we go. There we go. That will be much more handy. Because, I mean, the Puppies can't easily get through all this defense line to get to the Pillager, and the Pillager attacks from here. Like, here-ish. But yeah, I don't know. It's... What is going to happen? I don't think much. I mean, the monitors... One will die. Oh, not even going for the monitors. Going for the stinger instead. I do not agree with that option at all. Monitors, I think, get one shot by this thing. 
Yeah, that's 600 damage. The moderator gets one shot by this. I don't know why the pillager wasn't attacking the moderators and went instead for the stinger. And see, like I said, it's not going to be hit by the puppies. That's not a problem. I guess the idea with the stinger is to get rid of that one little extra bit of firepower. That's the only thing that comes to mind. It's like, get rid of the firepower, get rid of that support, and the reapers can sort of plow through. But the problem they're having is not the mo it's not the stinger, it's the moderators. But at this point, the pillager is going to be able to deal some damage. And that one projectile... Ooh, that misses everything. But it's still... That's still a big threat. That did force North Chilean G a bit away. But North Chilean G has more resources than they know what to do with. Or at least have an infrastructure set up to do something with. There needs to be more caretakers. And this one especially needs to be actually, you know, helping build. Not reclaiming. Reclaiming right now is the bad option. It's not... It's the wrong option. But unfortunately, this is the path thing I was talking about. North Chilean G just walking... Up, okay, jumping in some cases, but mostly walking. Pretty much straight up to Snuggle Base's base. And Snuggle Base getting totally out of position. The only downside being now... Or sorry, downside for North Chilean G. These moderators cannot kite. They can't really kite anywhere. They have nowhere to go. If the Reapers pin them, they're dead. They can kind of go out the path they came in, but that's all they've got. One good clever maneuver from Snuggle Base will stop them, but honestly, I'm agreeing with everyone else. Getting a switch would be the best idea. At any rate, North Chilean G actually kind of not expanding, surprisingly. They had some resources. I mean, they do have an economic advantage. They can pretty easily just push through. And this is the pins thing I was warning about before. Though admittedly, and now with all the stingers being built up, this is going to be a bit hard to punch through. Far from impossible, just, you know, a little difficult. At any rate, the pillager is still... It's still at large. There is still a pillager around. Snuggle Base also getting near even an economy, but there's nothing being built. Nothing's being built. No additional factories being built up either. No switches, no gunships, nothing. No planes either. I mean, seriously, you just pretty much, I think, napalm this entire setup, like... One phoenix burning through all these moderators would be... It would be suicide. Suicide. Emphasis on the first syllable. It would be suicide, but it would be worth... It would be worthwhile suicide. It would be a productive suicide. And it's always... I mean, suicide is usually not a great idea for units, but if you can find a productive way to commit suicide, it may be worth it. And that, I think, would be a productive way of doing so. Regardless... Neither, none of those solutions are being implemented at this point. Honestly, Snuggle Base is about to lose their commander and most of their base. A backup looks like it might be being built up over outside of their base, but the main problem is the main base. Commander just got destroyed. Just missed that. But this, on top of all the stingers just around here being used to just hold off the defenses. Defenses being used to hold off defenses. That's a new one. And apparently Snuggle Base has lost all morale. Wow, North Chilean G managed to completely crush Snuggle Base's spirit. I'm morbidly impressed, I suppose. That's... That's something. And apparently this is the game... This is... What happens when the game goes nuts. I don't know exactly. Although North Chilean G just lost everything... Could not destroy the factory, and all the free crews just trying to save themselves were going underwater. That's all they've got. But now with the commander gone, and without the moderators in the base, it's actually kind of hard for this to be held. This is basically Snuggle Base's best chance. They do have a lot of resource disadvantage, though. But neither player has got their production going. This caretaker's not doing anything. The factory is not really doing anything. The pillager's stuck in it, I think. Oh, the commander corpse. That needs to be reclaimed, I think. Pilger cannot move. Wait, can I, they can't jump back? Really? Looks like they can. Huh, okay. Well, whatever. They can, As the chat points out, they can terraform. They are workers after all, so that's not a big problem. A little bit of a weird one. Oh, you can't jump from... Oh, right, that was changed. You used to be able to jump from water, and that was fixed, I suppose. It was a bit of an exploit. Yeah, so that's changing now. You cannot jump out of the water. But terraforming is a thing, so... That's exactly what's happening. 
and at the same time, North Chilean G, they finally got their production going, or they've got some production going. They're building something somewhere. Not really quite sure where, though. I guess these stingers are really what's taking up most of their economy at this point. And the caretaker's finally being productive, but honestly, not doing... Oh, right, what am I saying? The caretaker, it's the bloody terraforming operations. Why are these remaining? Yeah, five more to go indeed. Why are these guys not moving? Come on. Or these workers. Seriously, get get the engineers up there. Or the freakers, rather. Get the freakers up there. At this point, I don't think Snuggle Base... Oh, Snuggle Base is aware there's a defender there. And they're going for gunships, and they're going for brawlers. And North Chilean G apparently thought that Snuggle Base was AFK at this point. The reality being, they actually did build a secondary base or a secondary factory right where I thought they would. So North Chilean G is not done yet. Oh, apparently terraforming was not working properly here. Not surprising, honestly. Terraforming is such a weird mechanic. <laughs> honestly, kind of surprised it works at all sometimes. And now North Chilean G is going to get a bit of a rude awakening. The real problem, of course, be that these are not here. That's the big problem with North Chilean G. They don't have their workers back up here to all build up a bunch of defenses. Because if they had all the workers, they would have had a massive defensive beachhead, if not a, an entire second factory, right inside of Snuggle Base's base. Which would have made everything a lot easier to deal with. At this point, though, they don't. At all. They do still have a major frontal assault force coming in with all these puppies. And, of course, could use more and more caretakers to actually spend the money they have. But yeah, that is a bit of a problem. North Chilean G is kind of low on momentum, and unfortunately the terraforming bugs that are apparently plaguing these units here, that's causing a lot of the problems. Or at least that's not helping. We could probably write these units off as dead. Those, those engineers are dead, which means the only thing that that North Chilean G can do is attack from the front. With all these puppies, not a bad option to get rid of the brawler, but that's pretty much what it's building around. Oh yeah, and I guess... Wait, why are you... Oh, did the pillager was just stuck? Apparently. Oh, is, it, is that the case? Oh yeah, there is. Yeah, it's actually on a hill. Due to the fighting, that actually is... It's stuck and nothing's going to help it. Oh, well, at least Snuggle Base managed to get some money back in order to build up more gunships. Which is really what they're using right now. And also, really what North Chilean G is planning to counter right now. So I'm not entirely sure I agree with that. But I do agree with the fact that North Chilean G has all these anti-air units up. I mean, clearly, Snuggle Base is dedicating a lot. I mean, so far it's been about 2,800 metal... Or, actually, closer to 3,000. Yeah, 3,000 metal on brawlers, and still spending on brawlers? Not really spending much on tanks? Yeah, North Chilean G is countering the thing that Snuggle Base is doing. So I totally agree with North Chilean G's tack or strategy here. Don't totally agree with Snuggle Base's. Although the puppies are going to prove to be very problematic very shortly. I mean, these Reapers cannot reliably hit puppies. In large enough groups, yes. They can hit some of them. Some of the puppies. But even then, Reapers don't get that many shots. Maybe 15 puppies will die out of this group of 30? Well, okay, they'll die before they hit the Reapers. They'll obviously die when they hit the Reapers. That's how puppies work. But yeah, that is... That's a problem. Not to the sure if that's a problem of value, though. Those puppies... I hope they hit some reclaim fields. Because that's not cheap. That was like 30 puppies. That's... That's about 1,500 metal. That's a little bit... That's twice as expensive as a Reaper. And they didn't actually kill any Reapers. So, I don't totally agree with that. To be quite honest. And we are going to be seeing, on top of that, a Spider Factory finally getting out of this pathfinding quagmire. Although, admittedly, a little bit late for that. I'm guessing these are for fleas. That's what I'm assuming, at least. And more puppies coming in. These Reapers... One of them finally dies after, I don't know how many puppies. Probably about 20 hit the Reaper. But yeah, that's... Well, actually, no, less than that. It's 400 damage each, so... That's 16, or 17. And finally, the Freakers actually get out of the ground. Do not build razors. Bit of a mistake. Back into the water. Ben dealing with the terraforming crap that they had to deal with earlier. But back into the water, where the Brawlers cannot touch them. 
You know, I'm kind of surprised that they aren't trying to build razors or something at the edge here. And that would just get rid of the brawlers, no problem. But nope. Feed and metal. All right, well, Snugglebase could use that. That's exactly what's happening. Wow, that's a lot of metal being eaten. That is a lot of metal gone. Honestly, Snuggle Base is about even. If it weren't for the fact that Snuggle Base is excessing and North Chilean G is, after a fashion, using up all their metal, I would say that the economy is starting to even out. Yeah, I don't know what's going to happen here. Like, it looks like there's just one push away for North Chilean G to actually win this game. They have the economic advantage statically. Snuggle Base can reclaim their way back up. But North Chilean G has a base economy double that of Snuggle Bases. That's a huge advantage. So I don't know what exactly the plan is. But I'm just guessing that North Chilean G's... I don't know what they're trying to do here. I mean, they're obviously trying to be defensive, but they aren't attacking. I don't know why they're not attacking. Why are they on the, de the defense? I mean, if you're on defense, you're building up for something. You're trying to make sure you can't get hit. So that you can actually go back with a larger force and finish them off rather than being attacked rather than attacking more regularly. You don't just defend for the sake of defending, you don't win that way. Oh, that's why North Chilean G thought that Snuggle Base was ill was indisposed, apparently, it was either to quote, away drunk or having a stroke. Which, admittedly, in the latter case, you should probably I guess you can't really easily call the hospital. We are dealing with people that are quite far away from each other. I mean, North Chilean G is, I believe, in Chile, as the name suggests, and Snuggle Base is in Australia. So, no real way to call the medical authorities in Australia to deal with a stroke. But, at the same time, I don't think that's the problem. I think the problem was just that Snuggle Base didn't know what to even do. Like, this is a weird situation. The terraforming is weird. The, this whole game's kind of weird. Finally, dealing with the terraforming situation, by the way. But yeah, North Chilean G, I guess once they've realized that Snuggle Base is actually here and actually alive, I'm imagining that North Chilean G will just go for the kill. Now, once they know that Snuggle Base is alive, then Snuggle Base will die, or at least lose. But North Chilean G does not want to kill a dead opponent. That just would be redundant, really. That's the main problem, as far as I'm concerned. Disrespectful, I suppose, but mostly redundant. I am a bit surprised that North Chilean G has not built up any other factories, or for that matter, any other caretakers near their main factory, which they really should do. Like, five minutes ago. They should have had caretakers here, or ten minutes ago, really. They should have had, like, three or four caretakers here by now. Not one. And a crow on top of everything else, Snuggle Base banking everything on this crow. And, quite honestly, it might work. I mean... Wait, no, what am I saying? The puppies will hit it before it hits the puppies. This is actually... Well, might work? Puppies are going for it! And yeah, that's death. That's the crow dead. That next stinger shot will kill it. I mean... Those puppies found a very productive way to commit suicide. And those are the fleas, which I'm guessing were meant to be used initially. That was what I expected the Spiderbot factory to be used for. Fleas to counter puppies so that the puppies would end up basically killing themselves for nothing. But at this point, I think North Chilean G is pretty much one good push. Although, I think at this point the puppies are a little bit overwrought. But one good push away from killing Snuggle Base. It's just Snuggle Base isn't actually getting threatened in any meaningful way. At all, really. Like, Snuggle Base can't really break out, although the Spiderbot Factory might help if heavier units are used. But at the same time, Snuggle Base doesn't really have the units currently built up to actually push through. Like, Archangels and Jacks are a good idea. But, I mean, if the Brawlers... If just get rid of the Brawlers alone, that would probably do the trick. Heavy Tank Factory still being built up, still getting locked out. Oh, yeah, I've still got that wall. That actually should be vehicle pathable. It's red, not purple. Hmm. Well, at any rate, that is causing a huge problem for Snuggle Base right now. But their economy is right now on par with North Chilean G. With Reclaim, mind you, but still on par. 
and it's being used. But what are these fleas being used for? I guess it's scouting purposes. This information is already known, though. There's a bunch of stingers over here. North Chilean G has a really strong defensive line. And they're finally rebuilding. They finally have this up. Defense wars being set up. And this is the focus right now. Defense. Wow. Reclaim. Okay, this is a war that the Freakers will not win. They do not have the build power. 20 build power compared to 22. Actually, no, more than 22 and a half. 30 build power on 20 build power. Those Freakers are dead. There's no way they're going to be able to do anything. Good attempt, but no. Sadly, no. Not going to work. Snuggle Basis has more build power. But at the same time, that actually means Snuggle Basis is better defended. And it's going to be even harder for any of these forces here to get in. This very clear attempt. The Jacks will be probably jumping in now, from the looks of it. So, Jacks are going in. There we go. There's the jump. Taking a fair amount of damage in the meantime, too. But they have a lot of health. Jax has 6,000 health, so it's not going to be hard. And the Spider Factory is the only thing being built. Fleas are the only thing coming out of the factories right now. Stardust will help, but honestly, that's not enough. These Jax, they take a lot to go down, so they're pretty much just going to be able to just run roughshod over this stuff. Heck, even the Reaper pretty much has no chance. Especially given that it can't move. But honestly, it doesn't matter. The Jack's going to be getting right in its face. Getting rid of it. Maybe one Jack will die. No, not even one Jack will die. That Reaper's just dead. Straight up dead. Factory straight up dead. The Caretakers are dead. Brawler's trying to get rid of a couple of the Jacks. But honestly, it's to no avail. This base is gone. I mean, the Jacks will die when the fact. No, the Jacks won't die when the Factory dies. Those Jacks are darn near invincible. Finally go down. But not after tearing apart Moses Snuggle Base's main base. And North Chilean G still has a very, very impressive anti-air force. I mean, they have chainsaws and razors, and of course the Archangels. That are in position. So, these jacks don't even die. They'll need repairs, but they're not going to die. And North Chilean G has more than enough energy for these repairs, so really not a problem. Not sure when that's going to happen, but, you know, eventually. Although, oh, the flea's going in for the kill... Not able to do that, sadly, thanks to the Lotuses. So, really, North Chilean G is just going about with defense crawling. That's everything. That's their strategy right now. Has been for most of the game, honestly. It's just defense crawl. Set up defenses everywhere. Push in with those. Not sure why, because they could very easily set up two more factories. Not even one more factory. Two more factories easily. I'm thinking, probably, given the situation, they only really need one. I mean, at this point, there's not much in the way of anti-air. Rapiers are probably do a huge amount of good here. I mean, it was, well, more slow, I suppose. And, of course, the Reapers can't really deal with it. Although, try, try and Reaper, I think, would actually work really well in this situation. Get rid of the Banshees without them having any way of getting back. There's really no recourse there. Now, the Archangels are good, but they aren't the fastest damaging anti-air units out there. Their alpha is not very good. But still, like, North Chilean G, they're just, that's their main problem right now. They're excessing metal like mad. I gotta look at the grass when we're done, because that metal excess is huge. And yeah, RAR pointing out that if North Chilean G... I'm sorry, if RAR... Sorry, if Snugglebase had made brawl, said Banshees instead of Brawlers, then North Chilean G would have lost their main base by now. Yeah, probably. There's no defenses here either. In fact, the Brawlers could go back here and deal with it. You don't even need to have the Banshees. The Brawlers have been really useful in defense, but yeah, they could go around the back. There's not much stopping them. All the anti-air defenses are further in, but... What? What? Okay. Snuggle Base wins by attrition, I suppose. Zoned out North Chilean G long enough, and North Chilean G just, I guess, thought, you know what? Nope, I'm done. I can't get through this. Despite the fact that North Chilean G had a massive economy, was not spending most of it, and really was not under any threat. But yeah, I guess they were so worried about the excess, they figured it was too late. I mean, the thing is, even when you can, when you consider that North Chilean G still used five, no, 7,000 more metal than Snuggle Base, despite 20,000 metal of excess. So, I mean, yeah, North Chilean G, if they had actually used all their excess, would have used twice the amount of metal as, as Snuggle Base in that game. 
But even with the excess, North Chilangi was so far ahead in economy the entire game that it was just... There was nothing Snugglebakes could really do. And even Snugglebakes did excess a bit, but yeah, it's like... That excess would have been really nice to not have had, but even with the excess, there was a massive advantage. Like, look, all the game, all the game, all throughout the game, North Chilangi had an economic advantage. It was like small, small periods where Snugglebase was getting close thanks to Reclaim, but that was about it. Honestly, North Chilangi had a massive advantage the entire time. And it had the territory advantage and everything else. One good push, having stopped their excess, actually building caretakers to do that, that was there. But yeah, apparently that was just a game of confusion because North Chilean G thought that Snuggle Base was absent. That was weird. Alright, anyway, next game is presumably going to be a little less odd, though no guarantees. It's on Tartarus between Silent Shadow and Spartacus. That'll be up in just a minute, so stay tuned. <laughs> 